These players are so good. They were waiting for me to give the thumbs up. Let's just shout out to the players. I have never seen players this well well behaved. All right, Dave Flamingo, King J, we're getting into it. Game one here on Stadium. Where else would we be? Dade taking that first blood, 27%. Oh, and just finding more. You know, Sansora, I don't know if, if you're worried about, you know, the, the Final Fantasy characters. Maybe you should worry about the Fire Emblem characters. King J, answering back, just a bit of percent. Ooh, not using the full extent of that side be able to just cancel out the second. Making sure not to overextend. Finding a nice 30% there on that string. Oh, that is disgusting. Sora, light enough to fall there to that forward smash. King J taking a second. Saying, all right, we good. It's fine. And then finally, just a few hits there again. You'd be surprised the damage the Sora can get out with just a few hits. You know, these nair loops, the fair loops. The loops, that is what Sora is known for. But you want to talk about Nair loops. Roy invented the Nair chain. You want to hit a bunch of Nairs? Roy knows about it. Coming back to ledge. Finding that that hit off. Oh my god, Dave knows. Dave knows more than me, hello? Dave knows exactly what he is looking for. Getting back to stage, poking right past ledge. Oh my god, the weight, the patience is insane, but King J falling off, following up with that up air. Able to get that stop. Ooh, going for that get up in place, not the roll away. But there's a few hits, a few hits. Use a bit of magic, use a keyblade a little bit, use all your options. Down tilt. Love the follow-up with the F-Tilt. Sora still alive. A following up with some damage of his own. Uppy not going to be the thing that's going to take this stock. And now King J doing a fantastic job of evening this up. You can do as much damage as you want, but until you take that stock, this game will not go anywhere. Fantastic air dodge to the ledge. And finding the kill with the side B. Dave now... Up a stock, that's what you need. Back hit of that nair. Little interesting. Now, back to neutral. But Dade immediately saying just like, I don't wanna be in neutral, I wanna be an advantage. I'm going to keep hitting you. I'm going to keep finding my mark. Ooh, weak down tilt, that was strong down tilt. That was a really scary situation. Is that it on PS2? It is so close to the blast zone. Dade, two stock. There is a let's go to chat in the crowd. Kind of soft. I've heard louder chants, but it is winners round one. This is quote unquote just winners round one, but I do believe, uh, I haven't seen the seating, but I'm pretty sure this would be an upset if this were to happen. Unless I'm getting players mixed up, and that's possible. I do that here. You think I know everybody? I did at one point, and I will again. <laughs> I will know you. <laughs> Threatening. Game two, South Battlefield. <gasps> oh, leaving me alone on commentary. All right. Good up. Ew, 21%. That's so gross. All right, finding a good string, getting off stage, but advantage can only be taken so far. Especially when you go off stage, you're kind of giving up that ledge trapping scenario. But hey, if you're gonna send shield, I will happily take this grab. Nice. More damage, now what are you gonna do? Okay, interesting air dodge, but getting back to ledge unscathed. Down tilt, heavy down tilt, trying to go for the fourth match, wanting to end it right then and there. Now, I think this stage is good because this stage, is, while similar to PS2, the ledges aren't nearly as close to the horizontal blast zones as the left. That side B from Roy, the forward smash from Roy, isn't going to kill as early. 
Now, if that sweet spotted, that might have killed. Maybe. But it definitely would have killed on PS2 if it was heavy. Or if it was a sweet spot. All right, really just going all out, and you might lose your stock for it. Who was I talking about? Who was I talking about? Dave Flamingo takes that first stock once again. Getting the nair, getting the follow-up. Of course, when Roy hits you with the full momentum, comes at you like a train. Okay, that actually has to be the funniest way to take a stock. Just like tr trading glancing blows. That's fantastic. King J back in it, taking that stock. But now Dade, honestly, just saying, what if I would just took your stock right now? Hitting on the last hit of that up B, trying to get the two frame, not finding it. And now King J responding with his own little string. Not enough. Dade hitting, finding the soft hit of forward air. I like that, going for that jab on ledge, so scary. At this point, do you even need the jab bear? You might just need jab forward air, especially on ledge. Dash attack, not gonna make its mark. And again, we're seeing something similar to last game. King J finding so much damage, finding the stock actually. And now, for the first time in this set, King J is in the lead. How long will you hold this for? Exactly. <laughs> Long enough to commentate this curse. Fantastic. And now we have the loops. The loops are on deck. Up he comes out. Failed a little bit, only 18% now. These loops, on the other hand. Nice side B damage. I would have gotten hit by that. I also would have gotten hit by that. And so did Dade. It is now 1 1. All right. Stop battle. Sora. Ed Frit versus Kowtow. Set up 13. Ed Frit versus Kowtow. Set up 13. All righty. We're getting into game three. I think I hear the Maryland, Maryland players say we drove three hours. Let's see how this game goes. Sephiroth. Wait, this is a cannon matchup. Except Sephiroth needs to have like a billion health bars and so far actually hasn't hit Sora yet, which is pretty on par to how Kingdom Hearts is going to go if Sora is going to be doing the winning. You get hit by Sephiroth to Kingdom Hearts, you're, uh, you're in trouble. One or two hits going to take your whole life bar. All right, finding a little bit of damage. Now, honestly, here's the thing. <laughs> it's almost a Lucario situation. You can stand and not do all that much damage because now that the wing is out, you have the damage bonus. And with the damage bonus, doesn't come great responsibility. It becomes more knockback. It is terrifying. Trying to find the counter. No! Fantastic. King J finding that stock. Now here's the thing, I feel like King J's been winning a lot more than neutral interactions now after Dave's character swap. But maybe that's the thing, maybe Sephiroth doesn't need to win that many interactions. Like, Sephiroth just needs to hit you once or twice, deal a buttload of damage, walk away the victor. That's a giant sword, like just absolutely insane. And once Minmin was in, anything was possible, right? It's like, oh, that range is okay? Okay, now we can make even more range. Maybe Ridley was the problem. Maybe Ridley started this. Ridley was too big, right? Like, Ridley was supposed to be too big. And then they went bigger and bigger, and now we have arms, we have Sephiroth's giant sword. Let's get back to the match. Let's not get off topic, all right? Good parry, good follow-up. And if, if you rolled in, I would have screamed. So thank you for not rolling in, King J. I appreciate that. That counter, 
didn't do all that much knockback, but honest to God, the damage was enough. All right, Dying did not tie off the top to that Thundaga. And hey, now we're gonna join on commentary. How's it going? Hey, what's up? I'm Sock, everybody. I'm sure most of you RVA regulars know me. Perfect. What's going what? on? File, right? Yes. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This game's been really interesting. Dave Flamingo, King J going back and forth. King J had the stock lead at the beginning of the set, and now Dade taking this back. Yeah, all the way back too. And this is not da not Dade's usual character. As far as I know, he's usually on the joke, uh, the cloud. But the Sephiroth coming out here. Maybe likes this matchup a little more into Sora, who knows? Yep. But the either roots. way, pretty even here from the side of King J and 1-1, uh, one, one. yeah. Yeah, and it, it's such a scary position. So at the end of that stock, Dade had already lost the wing, right? But that's the scary thing about Sephiroth is every stock is just like, you might get beaten up for the first 80 or so percent, but eventually you're going to get that wicked power up and the whole set might come crumbling down. Now on this last stock, King J doing a good job holding down neutral. Yeah, the offstage prowess of Sephiroth is something to be mentioned to be mentioned here too. If uh, Dade gets King J offstage even one time, it could just be stock. Yes, he's capable of edge guarding literally everyone, even even Sora. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Oh no way! But it looks like he won't need an edge guard with that strong wing backer coming in to take the set for Dade. Now that has to be that. Is that an upset? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe I I'm, I'm going to mix up. I'm going to mix up. I'm either either way, up. they're probably seated really close yeah. together. They're like, they're about All right. crazy. Uh, Dave Flamingo winning 2-1.